Hello everyone, Cliff Master here playing a new game called Age of Empires, the definitive edition. Also, doing some stream raiders as well, which I happen to have forgotten to do. So, once the game finishes loading a bit, because uh, you guys just missed an awesome opening sequence. Now I just got away from a game to catch up. There we go. Yes. A perfect game to play as well with Stream Raiders as well. Don't you agree? Along with raiding some empires, we're also going to be raiding the stream. Yes. Yes, indeed. How's it going there, Gabriel? Welcome, welcome, and welcome to the first stream of Age of Empires Definitive Edition. And as you also notice, I'm getting my stream raiders loaded up as we speak. Oh, God damn, I love this music here. I've always loved this music. So whoever originally composed this, kudos. And a beautiful remix this one is. Ah, that also reminds me. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let me uh, upgrade a bit. There we go. And now we get to do a boss fight from the start. So let's go ahead and get set up. Who knows what's going to drop? Who knows what we're going to fight? All I know is that we're fighting the boss. So let's go ahead and get ourselves set up here. Huh? Going to drop me War Beast. And go ahead and get set up as well, everyone. So that being said, let's begin also before we begin I want to give a shout out to <laughs> to flight path acquired uh, who just so happened to follow me right as I ended uh, my stream last night so what thank you so much for the follow of like flight path flight path acquired thank you so much and I uh, hope you enjoyed the show whenever you choose to show up. Uh, Fly Path Acquired is another fellow streamer out there that also plays Sea of Thieves. Along with the likes of Shmee14 and Gorehound13. And Lead Fireclaw as well as several other people that I've been following lately. As sub. Anyways, back to the game. We're going to be doing a single player today and we're going to be doing campaigns. We're going to be doing our uh, the actual campaigns of the game. Uh, and we're going to start with our tutorial campaign, unfortunately. Take your first steps into the Age of Empires by exploring, experiencing the story of the world's longest continuous civilization. To date, they are still around. <clears throat> As the guiding spirit of Egypt. Settle along the fertile Nile River, wage, wage war, and unite the kingdoms of Upper and Lower Egypt in Narmer. Build the great monuments of Hashepsut, and venture into foreign lands to conquer the Nubians and Canaanites. Experience Age of Empire players may start with Scenario 9, the River Outpost. Technically, I count myself as an experienced Age of Empires player, but I love playing from the start. So let us Egypt be is a land blessed with plentiful plants and wildlife, making it an excellent place to settle your wandering tribe of hunters and gatherers. Even though your people have primitive technology and rely on stone tools, they are skilled hunters. Establish a small village on this Nile Delta island and grow your tribe to seven people. Uh, 
Oh, that was nice. That was very nice. That is a nice addition there. Egypt is thriving. Egypt is a land blessed with plentiful plants and wildlife, making it an excellent place to settle your wandering tribe of hunters and gatherers. <laughs> Even though your people have primitive technology and rely on stone tools, they are skilled hunters. Establish a small village on this Nile Delta island and grow your tribe to seven people. Now that is nice. But there's something missing here. Actual uh, cinematics. Ooh, look at that. Go ahead and hunt! Ooh. I better pause for a minute. I gotta do something uh, right here. Uh. Let's see here. There we go. Hate to do this. But I want you guys to be able to see the map. And if you think about it, with this kind of orientation, it looks like I'm actually looking at the map too. <laughs> Go figure. Aisha. Aisha? Eh? Did I hear him right? Also, might as well... Start making my villagers. Oh yes, and I am loving the graphical over uh, turn right here. I would have five, uh, six coming up right about now, but unfortunately, I need to build a house. Hmm. Beautiful. Just beautiful. I saw. <coughs> Need to grow to seven, but this is just standard and they just made it too easy. Thank you very much in you for the drop there. That does remind me. Put you up here instead. There we go. I saw. Okay. I saw. Time to make our seventh villager. All too easy. All too easy. Mm. I love that. The victory. hunt is a success, and your tribe grows. You and your people will raise many sons and daughters in this land. Yay, and that only took me two and a half minutes to complete. For generations, the rich hunting lands along the Nile have provided for your people. Now a series of droughts have withered the size of the herds and forced your kin to forage for new food sources. Fortunately, the banks of the Nile teem with fruits and edible plants. Hunting bands have returned from the east with berries, dates, and leeks. Find these forage sites and collect food for your growing tribe. Once you have enough food, settle in this rich area by constructing a granary, storage pit, and dock. Yep, and oh my. Before we continue on, I'm gonna double check something. Let's see, options. Settings, please give me the settings. Okay, allow automatic Xbox Live login. As if I need that. Mm. 
No blood? Oh, there will always be blood. Always be blood. So no cinematics? Well, that's kind of disappointing. For generations, the rich hunting lands along the Nile have provided for your people. Now a series of droughts have withered the size of the herds and forced your kin to forage for new food sources. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, the banks of the Nile teem with fruits and edible plants. Hunting bands have returned from the east with berries, dates, and leeks. Find these forage sites and collect food for your growing tribe. Once you have enough food, settle in this rich area by constructing a granary, storage pit, and dock. Yes, sir. That being said, go ahead and start foraging. And also, we need to build me a house at the very least. I want to be able to build eight people here. Our population is at four right now. We need to start foraging! We are in the Stone Age, of course. Ba -ba. Zokanta. Zokanta. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm loving this. I love the ang the language being involved here. Not enough food. There is now. But I am liking this new look here. Ooh, you can even see the objectives right up here, even though uh, you can't see it because of the uh, my uh, screen here. Yeah? Because of things in the way, but I can see my objective slots right now. So. Alright, start build. Uh... <coughs> Start chopping some wood. Come on! Chop, chop, chop! But I am loving this uh, remix of the entire uh, soundtrack. They definitely, uh, when they made this game, remade this game, I should say, they definitely did it from the ground up. Better graphics, better sounding audio, better mu sounding music. The whole nine yards. And it is essentially still the same game. I love it! Also, and you don't forget uh, that uh, you can drop a unit every five minutes in Stream Raiders. I know you're a busy man, uh, keeping your kids uh, and all, uh, and hanging out with your girlfriend. And but just in case you forgot about it. All ready. Let's see here. Let's build ourselves a dock. Bombay. Storage pit. Bombay. And a granary. Bombay. This would not take long at all. Clank, clank, clank. Yeah. Victory!
victory! Though the desert sands have encroached on the grasslands, the banks of the Nile still provide for your people. Your tribe no longer wanders after the herds, but has begun to build a home here on the river. <laughs> There we go. As your hunters venture out, they begin to encounter other cultures to the west, along the Mediterranean coast. You have sent parties of explorers to search the borderlands to learn about these people whom you call Libyans. According to legends, there are sacred sites nearby. These can be recognized by the shape of a white horse etched into the ground. Find the five discoveries before the encroaching Libyans do. Uh-oh. A challenge? We got ourselves a challenge here! Now, this is a good uh, one to... That way, when they uh, spawn, they immediately start building it. And now they'll spawn here from now on. Let's get ourselves a granary. On this. And now let's start chopping some wood. There we go. <coughs> that way they'll go straight to it. You gotta admit, this music is really done. Uh, well done. And if it's stuck on a loop at the main menu, I would be really thrilled. Any berries around here? Alamas. Alamas. Don't miss. Store, store those items. Alamas. Off to explore for a... Oh, berries, I'm finally! Along the way, let's also build us... We already got our granary, so we need a storage pit. The villagers, uh, as they drop side for, for food from hunting... What are y'all doing? Gather berries! <coughs> that was close. Alrighty, here we go. Can we do this? We need to find the five discoveries. Now they say you gotta f that you gotta find these before your l enemy Libyans do, but in truth, that's not hard. They're h not even looking around yet. And on the easiest difficulty setting, they don't even bother looking at all, giving you pretty much giving you the win. But I don't play that. Uh, but this game, I'm experienced enough to try it on standard uh, difficulty. I want to see how difficult it can really get. And unfortunately, I cannot, uh... Make myself a barracks yet for some reason. Hmm. 
There is enough food now. And now we're at maximum capacity for our uh, town at the moment. Well, let's go ahead and forge these things while we still can. And we'll begin exploring. So far, my civilization has no, ex no reason to have to defend themselves yet. They are not in any real danger aside from the wild. But I'm gathering as many berries as I can, so I can build up my forces. Thank you again, Inu, for dropping uh, the rogue, uh, flying rogue right there. <clears throat> Let's see how we do against the boss fight. The tech tree. Shortcut F6. That's good to know. And this diplomacy and the chat <laughs> nice and the objectives but I am keeping but my objectives are right there anyway yeah oh wait <clears throat> All right, the bushes are nearly done. All right, come on, almost there, and then we can begin exploring. everyone and let us begin our quest all right here we go I'm gonna start over here I think this is the easiest one to find Ooh. and wouldn't you know we got ourselves a lion, and we're going to gather its meat. Well, we found the first one. Two more, four more to find. Waste not, what not. E Mm-hmm. Delicious meats. Okay, next. Now to go find the next run. We have enough food now to have seven new units if we so choose. We are off to explore the, these lands and find these sacred lands before our enemy Libyans do. Alama. Alama. Enemy! Alama. Alama. And he was standing right next to it and he couldn't even claim it. See what I mean? Oh, gazelle. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Two down, three to go. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, this stuff is rich. Yes, and I always gotta have that fog of war enabled. Mmm, <clears throat> gazelle. Delicious, uh, venison. Delicious, delicious venison. Now we have enough food to renew our entire population one fold. Perhaps. Nice. Let's go hunt. Yes. Ooh, yee! Another barbarian has landed. I saw. Mm The problem with uh, gathering meat is that uh, over t if it's far enough away, it takes time to go between the storage pit or granary <clears throat> and back there, and it just can and the meat just rots away. I know there is a, a way of uh, preventing that from happening too much by gathering them the closer, but in Age of Empires One, that's very very difficult to. Do if you don't understand uh, how the AI works. And to this day, I don't know how it works, and frankly, it may take a while to figure out. I saw. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but at least the gazelle is uh, harvested. And we definitely will have enough food <clears throat> for quite some time. So oh. we could replenish our forces still completely. I saw. And wouldn't you know, a flying eagle, or some sort of flying, uh, bird of prey. Oh, there it goes. And down you go. See? It just went down one. I saw. We gotta keep an eye on this thing here. And we found more berries. Beautiful. This is beautiful here. Already there. <laughs> yes, I am definitely enjoying this soundtrack now. Much better than it used to be. And yes, uh, if I do, int uh, when I do uh, play through this game the whole time, I intend to go through all the campaigns. Once I finish all the campaigns, then I'll do some random maps, conquests, I don't know. 
Maybe a death match? <laughs> oh, those are fun. Given plenty of resources, build your forces as fast as you can and as strong as you can and just go annihilate. <clears throat> I look forward to that day. And I'm also intended, and if, and once I finish those, I'll move on to the next chapter in the franchise, Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, hopefully. I saw. I saw. <laughs> Oh, yes, look at all that food. Mm -hmm. Let's come here. Gather around. Gather. Oh, wait. That's the trouble with this one. I kind of hope they were to fix that, but I guess it didn't matter. Drops one to up. Oh! Lion, gather. Isa. And with it, and it's time. So, switch it over. Well, good luck, folks. Battle fight. Judge! And the beauty of the War Beast is that I give double damage to my any monsters on the field. All too easy! everyone oh purple chest for the captain I got three monk scrolls and there's a chance for someone here to get three monk, monk scrolls as well so let's hope the, it works well and you you're you're the only one in the chat anyway so I guess by default you get it anywho's we defeated the boss that's our second boss since we started this game beautiful Let's see, um, here's our next battle, this is a new map, we're on the Frozen Thunder now, and I'm bringing out my musketeer, well, good luck folks, and back to the game, ooh, gazelle, and we got three out of the five, this is good. There we go. Mm. And now we have enough food to restore our population two times over. Attack! And this one rides a horse? Delicious meat. Delicious crocodile meat. Nom 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 nom. Yes, we are so good there in you. Also, don't forget to drop your soldiers now. We have started a new map. Hmm. 
Let's see. Alamos. Let me in! Ah, the Libyans have been defeated! But that doesn't mean uh, we could just be complacent. There are wild animals still out there. And we just discovered our fourth one, and I know exactly where the fifth oh. one is. Somewhere out here. All we have to do now is go find it. All right. There you are. Victory! Your band of explorers has discovered the sacred sites and pushed back the invaders from the west. You do not believe this is the last you will see of these Libyans, however. As a wise leader I am, I better not. Exploration and contact with other cultures have brought new ideas to Egypt. Your people are learning new skills, including mm -hmm. technologies for fishing. Morning, old boat! How's it going, everybody? Advance your culture to the tool age to gain access to the. Well, it's evening for me here, but it's definitely morning for you. You have just showed up to my first playthrough of Age of Empires Definitive Edition. Yep, and I'm sure you're well rested. Exploration and contact with other cultures have brought new ideas to Egypt. Your people are learning new skills, including technologies for fishing and more complex stone tools. Advance your culture to the tool age to gain access to these skills and new capabilities. Yay! Comes the fun part, the, the, the fun part of Age of Empires. Advancing your civilization to the next age. Hippers. Oh, and by the way, well, both I do have my stream raiders up too. If you uh, feel like, uh, if you're up to uh, some raiding. Mm -hmm. And let's make one more house after that. Bombas. Bombas. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Bombas. Look at all these uh, beautiful huts I have, yeah. Okay, the the command there is uh, exclamation mark raiders. It's always going to be exclamation mark raiders. Remember that. I know you have it set. To, I'm sure you have it set to say like battle for yours. Requires uh, two still in each buildings, which I do not have. But time to go fishing. Time to become fishermen today. And if you like to get to my uh, stream, uh, back to my channel as quickly as possible, feel free to favorite me in your list if you have room for it. I've never seen the movie, but I know it's funny as hell. I just caught that too. Yes, shut up. That's hilarious there in you. That is super hilarious.
But here's a fun, uh, here's a fun challenge for you and you if you're up to it. See if you can find any uh, walk-on blurbs involving the uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Specifically, anything that involving Jason Alexander's voice. Because that, because that's a lot of funny crap right there. Okay. Thomas. Darwiny. Darwiny. Mm -hmm. Ah, thank you for the drop there, old boat. And now we're getting... Alrighty. Okay. Now this is the slow uh, grind uh, the, the scenario here. But this is uh, one that helps us uh, do more advanced resource gathering so we can build up our research and development team now we do need at least I want to make at least two more fishermen and then we're gonna uh, gather wood to build us a dock because this map is littered with places to fish Hey. Oh, but, 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 but. There, there, there. Alright, we got our ten, now to gather some wood. So I can build myself a dock. Since I've wasted all my uh, wood right now building huts. And by that I also mean houses. Alright, here we go. Chop, chop, chop. It is my 55 pound hammer Shines like silver Kudos to anyone who knows where I took that move from And it is a movie And another hint, it's another Disney movie mm -mm. Okay, dock time! Alright, you guys gather wood while I build me some boats. Fishing boats. Oh, yep, I definitely need wood for this one. Shiza! 50 wood a piece? Oh dear. Movie quilt. This is my 55 pound hammer! Shines like silver! And yes, that is an actual movie quote, and yes, and my hint is, it's another Disney movie. I grew up on Disney movies when I was a kid. Yes, yes! I want a fleet of fishing boats! Well, okay. In a matter of speaking, this is Age of Empires Definitive Edition. Basically, it's a graphical overhaul of the old game. And I, they redid everything uh, from the graphics to the music. It has been repolished, but it's basically plays the same way with a few minor differences. One. The scenarios now speak to you, but the downside is there are no cinematics as far as I'm aware. 
Which really sucks! Because I would have loved to see them redo the gross cinematics. Except for that one opening scene that you got that I did not show in the stream, unfortunately. Got five coming up. Okay, so 16 I will have. 17. I want a fleet of these boats. To go fishing for whale. And yet, yeah, and uh, kind of a spoiler alert here, their old boat. I intend to make this a series, a, a, a playlist of this uh, of this game, from the first Age of Empires to the third. And they're all going to be the definitive edition. They are that old games, all right. So, to, if you feel so compelled to, feel free to uh, chime in every Tuesday night. That's what I'm planning to do with that. Or Tuesday morning for you, or Wednesday morning for you at least. But of course, your sleep is more important. If you have to sleep in, do so. I cannot preach it enough. And now I'll have my fleet of boats ready to go. There's number six. And while they're while we're at it, let's go ahead and, uh... Okay. There you are. Let's go ahead and start building us a granary. Humbus. And a storage pit. Oh, wait, there's not enough wood yet. Yep, these, uh, bo these, uh, villagers are gonna be my lumberjacks, while my fish boats will be my food gathering source. Which reminds me, I only got two more to build! And would you look at that, whale. We're gonna be hunting whale. Not that I could dumb that, uh, in today's, uh, world. But, back in the ancient era, they were an excellent food source. Not to mention a good source of uh, making soap, eventually. Alright, storage pit. Uh, God damn it. I need 120 wood. Yeah. There we go, now I got my wood. And I could advance to the next uh, age, which is the two age, but I need 500 food now. Mm -hmm. That being said, Let's go ahead and take our boats fishing. Time to start gathering the food required. We got this poor whale surrounded. Poor salt, poor thing. Oh well, can't help it. Mm -mm. All right, time to gather the wood or gather the food. I mean, we need 500 food and we're almost there. And we're about to run this uh, freaking uh, island dry. Mm -hmm. 
Gotta love this music, yeah. Almost there! Almost there! Time to advance soon! Time to advance! This could take some time, though. We are now leaving the Stone Age and heading straight for the Tool Age. Let's see how long this takes, though. This may not take too long, though. And we're still gathering wood and food. So how spend your runs through Cyberpunk so far there, old boat? I know, you know I've been uh, watching you from time to time. Especially the couple nights ago when I watched through your whole stream of it. <laughs> You still there? Mm -mm 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 yep. Ah, uh, some more. Yep. It was kind of mind-boggling to know that uh, that I walked right. Uh, that I've uh, pretty much watched through your entire stream uh, Sunday night or Monday morning. good to know that's very good to know of course uh, if you can get if you save up enough you might be able to buy your own graphics card a better graphics card at least if you so choose though uh oh we're about to advance we are now in the tool age your people have mastered the techniques of making improved stone tools and have entered a new age of development, which will be called the Neo. <laughs> With these new technologies, yes, your I people do. thrive and gain an advantage on the other groups around them. Oh, there are plenty to buy online, though, there, uh, old boat. There are plenty to buy online. It's a matter of getting it to you afterwards. New technologies have allowed your tribe to grow, but have also brought conflicts. The spread of the Sahara sands has forced neighboring tribes to migrate into your lands to seize control of your foraging sites and defensive positions. Raiding parties from Upper Egypt have come down the river. Intercept and destroy these invaders before they infiltrate your villages and steal your food supplies. Ooh, that would be bad. But yeah, if you, uh... I'm gonna post that link here, old boat, so... Give that website a look-see and you'll be able to browse around uh, for uh, any kind of graphics cards you need. Uh, if there are none in the 3000 series, you might want to consider a different series then that is compatible with your motherboard. That's the trouble there, is finding a compatible uh, graphics card. But this website is a very good resource for buying all your computer parts. That's where I got all mine. <laughs> all right, time for the skirmish. Uh oh. Oh yes. Finally, we get to learn to how to battle. Now we just go hunt for the enemy. I don't know if it'll be pointless, uh, there at Old Boat. Believe it or not, a lot of the new games that we've been coming out lately required uh, up-to-date graphics. But I do agree that uh, some of the uh, newer graphic cards aren't doing too well in sales, uh, thanks to the fact that they're made cheaply something that really bothers me.
But yeah, if you do uh, consider it, uh, looking into it, uh, that's a good website to go to. Just keep that in mind. Okay. Still looking around for the enemy. They're out there somewhere. I shall find you. Erectus. Alright, here we go. Where are they? I should have came across one by now. There we go. Oh! Evil die, die! I can. Come on, die! You damn raiders! You're gonna die! There you go. I can. That. Oh, no. Oh, no. Evil daddy. No! Oh, no. Oh, no. We have our first casualty, guys. We have our first casualty. Oh, uh, yeah. True enough. Yeah, that's the real problem there, thanks to COVID-19. On the plus side, at least the vaccine is... Uh, I heard the vaccine's uh, now released into your country there, old boat. Correctness. Oh, there we okay. go. Yay! We win! And we only suffered one casualty. Your people have repelled the raiders and are safe for now. Your successes and the threats of powerful neighbors have encouraged smaller nearby tribes to join you for safety. They offer food and their wealth in exchange for your protection. You have begun to lay the first foundations for a new concept called kingship. Ooh, kingship. The future of Egypt is about to change. The great pharaoh Nama seeks to unite the upper and lower kingdoms into a unified Egypt. Using the wealth brought from farming along the Nile's banks, he will finally be able to defeat his rivals. Take control of the villages along the river and build a surplus of 800 food to feed your people and Nama's warriors. In addition, take control of the ancient stone circle of Nabta Playa, found in the desert to the west. Controlling this ancient ruin will demonstrate Nama's power to his opponents. Be wary of nearby peoples, however. You need not destroy them, but know that they will attempt to undermine mm -hmm. Nama's goal of uniting Egypt. Uh, no one wants to be a guinea pig, uh, very old boat. I don't know. There was a, a 90 year old. I heard on the news here in America that uh, there was a 90 year old woman who actually did. Uh, volunteered to get the vaccine and uh it was publicized okay we need to we need to stockpile our food source so better get started let's see berries Ooh, we got ourselves a barracks Oh, 
Oh, if there are some in the U.S., I haven't heard anything yet, though, in you. I do hope so, but if even so, it's not gonna ma oh. It's not going to amount to much since uh, the nurses and the uh, immunocompromised in our country are expected to be the first in line and treated first. Then comes the uh, elderly and uh, those uh, living in nursing homes, as well as the nursing home workers. And then beyond that will be the non-essential healthy workers. Uh, healthy workers that are non-essential workers. Which pretty much leaves people like me at the bottom of the barrel. Because we're essential workers. I disagree with that part though. But hey, a lot of them really do need it before I do though. Okay. Time to get me some food. We do need to capture the ruins, but I also would love to advance our civilization. Bum, 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 ba, da, da, da. Mm -mm. Here we go. Uh, definitely gathering the food we need. Let's see. Uh, good, good. Uh oh, it's the raid time. Boom. Let us begin. Let me get over here first. Here we go, and good luck, everyone. Defend me with all your uh, with all your lives. Dun, dun. Leroy Jenkins. Come on, here we go. Mm -hmm. Yay! We won! Well, good luck, folks! Here we go! Inuyasha wins! Ah! Shiza! Yes, he did wreck them! Next time, I'll uh, definitely make sure he gets them! Ooh, I got myself some barbarian scrolls! And, uh... Flying Busters, by the looks of it. Oh, Balloon Busters, that's what they're called. Yay! And I'm also leveling up my character, my tunes right now, and... Let's see, what, who else needs it? Okay, 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 good, good. Alright, next... Oh, oops. Next battle, here we go. And let's, uh, put up my paladin today. Defend me at all costs! Good luck, everyone! Alright, back to this. Time to bring out a few more clubmen. Curiosity, what else? Ooh, stable, archery range, market. Oh, good, there are all sorts of new stuff here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have at least. A builder here so we can start building some houses. 
Okay. Now you people, gather me some wood. Okay, you are going to build me. Well, we already got a granary, so we need, I think, an archery range. But we require some wood, though, so we need more wood than that. Would be nice if we could build some farms, though. But I don't think we've discovered farming yet. I guess we're gonna have to build a dock. But first things first, we need some houses. That being said, there we go. I'm gonna set my units to one so. There we go. Oh god, he's slow. <laughs> but he'll build these houses in no time. And then we're gonna have him build ourselves a dock. Once he's done with the oh, he's done with the house, of course. There we go. Give me a dock. Because I think we're gonna have to cross the river. Yay! Yeah, all both, uh, if we get only one prize left this time, I'll make sure you get the next one. That way you can build your forces up. Unless you insist on the depending entirely on the luck thing. I would, uh, I would uh, try to go for the point system that you came up with as well. But I don't have enough viewers at the moment to justify it. But it would be nice if I could get some uh, support though. So feel free to spread the word again. And uh, hopefully your people will uh, come see me too, one day. But I am a firm believer of the one to two percent rule that I keep hearing about on YouTube uh, when it comes to s increasing your streaming. For every 100 followers you get, at least one of them, or two of them, will be a constant uh, regular. Alrighty. That being said, let's get ourselves some uh, fishing boats. Light transport, use to transport villagers, military units, and artifacts across water. Uh, providing that I can't find a way, uh, 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 providing that there's no other way across, though. I mean, the, oh, wait, okay. Ooh, look at this! Definitely checking out the tech tree. Oh my god! Oh, heck yeah! I remember when I first bought the actual retail copy of these games, they actually had a tech tree pamphlet for you to check out. Just like in Civilizations. It was great! Ooh, 
yeah, look at the look at all this research that we got now. I think it's time we start building our forces up again. Cause now we got slingers. What requires stone? And we don't even have food. Ah, there we go. So, we're gonna have him build... An archery range. As well as a stable, followed by a market. Once we get the chance, of course. All right, here we go. And where should I put the markets? Gonna move you up a little bit so we can protect our northern border a bit. Okay. Oklahoma. Gonna build the market here, but continue building this. Yeah, watchtowers, small wall. We can build those. But look at that. We can make scouts now. As well as archers. Bowmen! But requires some wood. <laughs> that just sounds all, all kinds of wrong right there. Mm -mm. Let's see. It's gonna cost us a bit of uh, food to do two working, as well as all this. But these research, uh, this research is worth it. Paco automatic uh, reseeding the farms. Heck yeah! Hello, eh? And now that we have the market, we can build us some farms! Hello, eh? Hello, eh? Hello, eh? Hello, eh? And oh my god, I think I made a mistake. I built these storage pits and the market too close to the granary! I can even take And yes, we have ourselves a farm now or two. Yay. And now we can grow some food. As well as do our research. Oh, we don't have enough food for this research yet. But we will. We will. Lower Egypt is still stronger than us. But we won't capture the ruins. I'm gonna see if I can build myself a scout at the very least. Just a scout. We 
Wait, what the heck? We may not need to build a uh, a transport boat after all. Okay, research. It is so worth all this research in the very end. Ooh. Domestication. Let's uh, gather our food so we can uh, do this at least. We can always... And our currency is food. Or gold, I mean. Yes, our gold. I love gold! Mm. Oh, and I just noticed that the the number of people I'm what uh, the number I see at the top right here is how many p units, uh, uh, how many of my people are actually doing the actual food, uh, actual gathering of these resources. This is this is a nice addition. You did not have that before. I want that domestication. Come on. Oh, there we go. Finally. gonna have you uh, do a farm as well right about yeah we got a couple fishing boats and we are got three farms going and I'm glad so we have discovered farming after all we just needed to build a market And now our food is uh, more plentiful. Yes! And now we can continue with our research! Watchtowers! We can build some watchtowers now, as well as some walls. See if we can get another villager out on that. Yippers. Use research technologies that improve in military units and effectiveness of villagers. Required to build farms, temples, and government centers. Of course. Let's get ourselves a watchtower? Oh, we need stone. Shiza. Well, what does the market have for sale? To give up 120 wood and 100, uh, 100 wood and 120 food, we'd be able to give our, that's gold actually, so. Research, ah, these are research. the food I see now so we need to use diplomacy then not that it would work those are our enemies Build me another house. Um, this. Give me 
take that. Oh, we don't have enough food! That's okay. Done, yeah, so far. Come on. I just need 125 food. How are we doing? Our fishing expeditions are going swimmingly. Could use a scout though. How much is 90 food just for a scout. Mm-hmm. Well, making my scout now. The research is going swimmingly so far. Yay! Another old boat unit. Make him strong. Make him very strong. <laughs> oh, I love the fact that we can scroll out now. All right, sending the scout up to look around on the river. See if there's a way across without having to use a boat. Yes, I cannot be arsed enough. Ah, there it is. There's our, uh... You stay put. You stand guard. Yes, I cannot be arsed enough to build a boat to send my units across. Uh, ready? I am liking the music, of course. It's definitely been rehashed in a good way. Research is done. Still waiting on the uh, gathering enough food to get this unit uh, to get this research point. Oh, it looks like a couple of my farms are being redone. Gotta love that chicken noise. Buck, buck, buck. Dinner. Need to capture the ruins, though. Eventually, we will. Eventually, we will. But we've been gathering a great deal of wood. Alright. Ah, heck. You go ahead and build yourself a fawn, too. Okay, here we go. Only one more research th uh, to look up, and we'll be uh, ready to head out once it's complete. The Battle Axe. And I shall be sending... Hmm. Should I make a whole unit of archers? It'll be quite expensive, but it'll definitely be worth the range. Yes, and I'll just use my uh, clubmen slash axemen they're about to be to be my home defense. <clears throat> so 
So yeah. Let's go ahead and gather you guys there. It will cost 40 uh, uh, units of food and 20 units of wood. Which shouldn't be too difficult to do in the end. Now that you're being researched, let us start gathering things up and getting ready. For the next conquest. My clubmen! They are now Axemen! And we shall make ourselves a couple new houses, because I want a strong force. Yes, we are both in the tool age, indeed. Alrighty. And I shall have you, uh, gathering wood, too. Helmet. Oh, when you're done building, that is. Yes, indeed. And we now have plenty of room to grow. I shall have a total of 16 archers. You guys have stopped fishing. Not cool. Not cool at all. Continue fishing! You are fishermen after all, damn it! Give me food! <clears throat> Here we go. The downside of having only uh, doing this one building at a time, uh, having one building of each, is that it takes time to train your units. <gasps> Experienced multiplayers have a habit of building multiple uh, buildings at the same time to build their forces quicker. It's uh, resource draining, but it is so worth it. Another uh, unit's been dropped by the good old old bolt. Are you still there in you? Ah, a farm has died. That's okay. He's building another.
And this will be my full unit. Full size unit. You cross the river. Oh. Scout out my area. I want to see where my enemies slide. An excellent use of my time while I'm building up my forces. the crossing and I found my enemy can I take the unit uh, with uh, take the ruin without having to trigger a wall We have captured the ruin! Now it's just a matter of way, uh, building up our supply. Food supply. <clears throat> yeah, you stand and guard the ruin now, Scout! Mm -hmm. Coming, he's coming, he's coming! We're about as strong as we're ever going to get, I think. But let's see here. I totally forgot about the little dock there. But it looks like the dock has nothing to research at the moment. That's probably good. Simply gathering up our supplies. We're already at 475. That's good news. <laughs> and it is time to battle! Good luck, everyone! I'm just going to go ahead and give it to Old Boat anyway. There you go, Old Boat. Enjoy the scrolls. And now we move on to the next battle. Ooh, a surprise here. Yippers. Pits. Hundreds of them. Something was buried here. Interesting. I'll go ahead and go with this one. Who knows what surprises I am wait here? Hmm. Well, barbarian time. Well, good luck, folks. That means it. Back to uh, building our resources. Da -da -da -da. Oh. 
Only five more archers to build. <laughs> I didn't? I'm pretty sure I did. Let me double check. Yeah, I did. See? Yeah, so go ahead and start placing your units. Your failure is a disgrace, and because of you, the kingdom has fallen. Suffering from a famine, your people have deposed Pharaoh Nama. The new ruler offers you a chance to participate in the next hippopotamus hunt. You will be the bait. Are you kidding me? We're gonna redo all that now. Well, I'm starting right. I'm going straight from the start and building farms. I didn't realize there was a freaking time limit there. I don't know how I lost. So first things first, I'm going to build up my stockpiles and go straight for that ruin. I guess uh, the, the lower Egypt beat me to my food supply instead. Anyways. Build in the market so I can build me my farms. And while I'm at it, another house wouldn't hurt. A couple more houses, actually. Here we go. Reseed has been enabled. Alright, <laughs> time to build the farms. But before we do, I gotta clear out some of these bushes and these trees. You over here. You down here. In fact, come to think of it, now that I know the route.
Come on. Thomas. Erectus. 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 I have a better idea. Let's wait on the ruin. Since we know where the ruin is. Anyway, let's just go back. And build, just stockpile on our supplies. So, back to your old defense oh. post. I think I make a total of eight farms all together. There we go. There's five. now need enough food to make me eight farms so I could start building up surprisingly fast Won't be a problem later.
Vamos. Pokémon. Zelda. Focus over there instead. Let's see if this does it. Yep. Destroy these. And we'll... Hilari. Okay, stop! Rogan? Let's see. You guys just go ahead and uh, gather wood instead. Oh, we tried to build up our supplies a bit. Our food supply, at least. So we'll just focus on that for now. be able to clear some of this wood out. Oh, oh crap, crap, crap. Ow. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's better. Whew. Not enough wood. Are you serious right now? Alamar. Yuri. Bombi. Oklema. Somas. Rogan. And now you're back to farming. There we go. That will get us our food supply. We need at least two, we need at least 400 wood, or wait, eight times 60, that is 480 wood pieces, just to be able to farm. So I'm gonna need some more wood, to, uh, people doing the... Yeah, go ahead and just start chopping wood. The price was worth it, unfortunately. I'm gonna need one more so I can at least build my scout. They'll be quick. They're fast.
Okay, you are gonna build me my... No, wait. My, uh, stable. But I need more wood. Yeah, the Buster. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on, here we go! Let's go ahead and do that at least. So we can build up our food. And the storage pit we could use as well. Over here! That way we can gather it a little faster. Alrighty. Yep. Reseeding is going to happen. At the least. Alright! We definitely got our... Uh, Food supply, now we gotta go to that ruin. I'm gonna have to take the risk. I'm not gonna fail this time. Our famine is not gonna kill us. that Egyptian for? We're out in the desert. And we are victorious! The gods have blessed our great pharaoh Narmer and united our people. Egypt is destined to become the greatest civilization ever seen. <laughs> the pharaoh has promised you a spot on the carved stone tablet commissioned to honor his victory. For obvious reasons, your image will not be as big as his. For obvious reasons, yes. All right. The reputation of a united Egypt is spreading to all corners of the world, and trade has vastly increased your people's wealth. With this prosperity, mm -hmm. the Pharaoh Djoser has decided that Amir Mastaba, a simple mud tomb, will not be enough to serve him in the afterlife. Instead, he has ordered the architect Imhotep to design a stepped pyramid that will be visible from miles away. Such a large project will require great resources. You have been ordered to go to the north and set up a trade post to collect the gold for the pyramid. At the same time, you must venture into the desert and find a quarry to supply stone for the construction. Your trading partners, the Minoans, Canaanites, and Libyans, could become jealous of Egypt's success and might even cease trade and attack your people. In case our diplomats fail to keep the peace, you must defend your trade ships. The Pharaoh is entrusting you with the success of this project. Woo! This is gonna be fun. We just need to stockpile gold and stone. Here we go! Diplomacy, huh? At least we got the Minoans on our side. And we got X. Beautiful! 
And we can move on to the Bronze Age next. But we're going to need 800 wood. Oh, wait, 800 food, I mean. And two Stone Age buildings. Not going to be easy to make. Time to build us a market. Going to need a barracks, of course. Let's see. Ya. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it's all right. I'll have one more battle after the a uh, couple more maybe one or two more battles after this and that's about it I wish I could build myself a a trade post at least. Venture out into the desert, it said. Okay. Assign multiple villages to mine to increase production. Okay, so. They're trading partners to the Minoans, the Canines, so they could become jealous. Okay. You've been ordered to go to the north to set up a trade post to collect gold. You must venture into the desert and find a quarry to supply stone. Yes. Here we go. Delare, Thomas. Let's venture out into the desert. It didn't say which direction, though. Get that tree out of the way first. Just in case. You never know. Is that you? So, huh? 
top. Alamos. So miss. Come on, here we go. You got really all six? Hmm. May have missed the first one then. Come on. So much. <laughs> I want to start building up my lumber, uh, my farming community first. So can talk. Need one more so I can build me some houses. I'm going to need them. Friends with the Minoans, at least. Hello, eh? Zombie. Zombie. Zombies. Zombies. I have at least one architect, at least. I'm gonna start gathering gold soon. And if I come across a quarry in time, I'll be thrilled. It'll be out. Uh, sir, the uh oh! It's raid time! And yes, we do have all six, huh? Well, good luck! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Good job, old bolt! Soul survivor! <laughs> You're the soul survivor there, old bolt! Congratulations! Let's see. I'm moving on to the next battle. Let's hope people do show up, though. But thank you for at least showing up as well there to, uh, to uh, Old Boat. I'm going to go for the more difficult uh, battle, at least. And uh, I'm going to go with my Muscatel. Good luck, everyone. Okay. That being said, here we go. Lo cantar. Lo cantar. 
At least up there. Start gathering wood soon. Yep. <laughs> well, thank you very much anyway. They're all bold for the epic tank. Thank you so much. Take it easy there, old boat. Problem, of course. Thomas. Alamas. Thomas. Buck, buck, buck. <laughs> and now I can make domestication. And as for that, you gonna make a Barracks, just in case. But I'm gonna need wood. 125. And also diplomacy. Let's see here. Now I can build my barracks. And while I'm at it, might as well make me a couple tray boats when I get the chance, when I can get the wood to do so. Now that I got a stable food supply coming up now. Civilization of 40 people. I'm gonna be needing uh, some serious work. Yeah. Yeah. 
the Minoans are in the third age. Which, if I recall correctly, it's called the... All right, the Bronze Age. I still need another uh, building to make. Broken? Let's see. Stable? Yes, stable. Humble. Let's make us a stable. So we can advance to the next age. And while we're at it, get us some stone mining, wood mi stocking, and gold mining as well. Get that up there at least. Doing some serious research now. <laughs> yes, we are advancing the civilization. This will build the archery range as well. You can never be too careful. Mm. -hmm. Okay, ma. Go do something, I'm betting. <laughs> so funny. Probably the worst laugh I've ever heard from Final Fantasy. Oh, wait, that is the only laugh I've ever heard of Final Fantasy. Whoopsie. Make me some trade boats, so I can begin my trade. Not enough food, but I will soon, I will soon. <laughs> Time to do some tr Let's see. Hello! What should I trade? Food! Yes, definitely food. around for ports to find. Also, time to advance to the, uh, to the Bronze Age. And we are trading. I think 
those are the Canaanites. Come on. Now we got some gold coming. gonna be trading food from now on hey and he's off playing some cyberpunk <laughs> it's good to see that old bolt having some fun with the game probably to test out his uh, graphics card still but I'm all all my traders are going to be trading food so that I could get gold And if I happen to come across a, a gold quarry, I will, a gold mine, as then I'll be start mining there immediately. But I might as well at least establish trade. Searching around, searching around. I'll eventually find the uh, the Canaanites. Already started trading with the Libyans, at least. Did I also start trading with the Minoans? Reach the end of the line here. Here we go. Come on! Show me your worth. the Minoans. Might as well get these upgraded as well. Bronze Age is, is expensive, but so freaking worth it in the end. Okay, now to go make me some miners. At least I found my allies, the Minoans. Okay, Mark. 
Alamoth. Rogan? Somas. Ravnema? Alamoth. Alamoth. Rogan? Alamoth. There we go, now that I've actually got some trade going. Man. I'm under attack! Time like the person, I guess. I need to make me some war galleys. We're gonna go out to the desert. Yeah, I don't not like wasting good food, good meat like that, but unfortunately they left me no choice. I'm gonna go find me a uh, a quarry to mine a stone quarry, hopefully. Alrighty, time to build me a storage pit right here, so I can start mining these. There they go. Okay, you go repair. You came to attack it, my people? They're just merchants, for Christ's sake. Come on! I already got my stone, which is good. Now we just have to keep the trade moving. Mm-hmm. 
Let's see how diplomacy is going. So far, so good, though. All righty. Now we just simply need to make sure we win the, the, the trade uh, war. Economics is a bitch! And did I just center on my uh, units there? Not too far away. Yep, we're good. We're very good. We don't have enough food anymore, but that's okay. We're building up our food supply. Now we just simply need to keep trading. Supposed to be my repairman. So you stay put. Three Government center, huh? The research technology that improve buildings and military units. Mm -hmm. Build additional town centers. Yay! Mm -hmm. Only four, 100 more uh, gold pieces we need to do. No, 
not enough food. But there will be. There will be. build ourselves a government center. Who knows what's coming up? Um, let's see what's going on here. We're making quite a trade, all right. make one more trade built so we can do this other port. It may help speed things up a bit. Speed things up a bit. We're starting to run out of trees here. We almost won this uh, gold wrap. So all we have to do now is switch you to stone, switch you to stone, switch you to stone, and one more. Phantom 54591 has uh, entered the battle finally. Okie dokie! here for a quick moment because it's battle time all right so we got four units good luck folks against their 15 be though. Hey, we won! No one died! Yay! Now we get two possible winners here. Let's see here. In Russia and Old Bow. Good congratulations, you two. Okay. I'm gonna do one more battle and that'll be it. So here we go. Final battle, folks. And good luck. This will be my final battle, which will allow me to continue on. Let's see how we do in this trade. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, one more uh, gold piece. And we are victorious! With the supplies you gathered, the first pyramid of Egypt is built in honor of Pharaoh Djoser. People from far and wide are in awe of this achievement and Egypt's fame grows. Djoser's successor already has plans to build an even larger pyramid. In time, these structures will dot the land of Egypt and last in eternity, guiding the pharaohs into the next life. Yay! Egyptian culture is flourishing and the population is growing. In order to provide for the administration of the kingdom and serve the gods, new professions have been established. Scribes and priests help the pharaoh in his dealings with the military, the people, and the gods. These new specialists have quickly gained prominence and become vital to Egyptian civilization. In the north, west of the Nile Delta, mm -hmm. scouts report Libyan raiding parties are approaching one of Egypt's most sacred cities, Heliopolis, built to honor the sun god Ra. As the lector priest of the city's main temple and army scribe of the pharaoh, you are commanded to stop these raiders at all costs. Uh -oh. The priests in the city have offered their services to support the army. However, you must be wary of the Libyans who bring a siege engine with them to demolish the city's walls. This machine could be useful for our own armies, so instead of destroying it, the pharaoh has ordered you to capture this stone thrower and bring it to the town center at Heliopolis. Fascinating! Oh boy, this is going to be a difficult one. So let's get on with it. At least we start at the Bronze Age. Broken? Okay, let's see here. There's a barracks. And there's the market. Oh, there's the temple. I have enough to build me one more priest. But now I gotta build also uh, my supplies. Here we go. Uh. <laughs> city since hmm. <laughs> you want to intrude go make yourself useful at the stone quarry Mm-hmm. 
use the train elite infantry units to have high attack strength and armor. Mm-hmm. So that's the academy, huh? Let's see here for a minute. Scenario instructions. No, 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 no. Let's take a look at this here for a minute. Is that paused? Mm. Uh oh! Where? 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 Good. Oh no, there goes my house. Oh boy. No! This ain't good. They pretty much uh, used it to attack me immediately. the Egyptians should have uh, died. In fact, they never have died. They're still around to this day. even have enough money to buy me a couple new military units and I don't even have the gold 
the bell of tri to train a new priest! So, the city's in ruins. Good. I cannot even train a new villager. And even if I could, what difference would that make? I as well just sit here and watch my uh, city crumble. the barracks. I do know that if they just take out my town center, they win anyway, but this is AI here. I don't, I kind of was hoping they improved the AI a little bit, but I guess not. They're taking out the temple! Such sacrilege! Decide to attack the town center. Oh boy. And you only attacked once? Really? Just watching my uh, city burn. What a horrible way to end the stream.
Well, they're sure taking their sweet freaking time taking out the archery range. You know, they're focusing on everything else except the town center. I think they're really trying to give me a chance. Problem is, I can't. All I can do is watch. Away. And they're coming in to take over the mine. Now just finish it up! Sucks all right. The sacred city of Heliopolis and its mighty temples have been plundered by the Libyan raiders. In anger, the pharaoh has stripped you of your titles and forces you to help work on his monument for the afterlife. In case you have forgotten, the builders are buried in the tomb with the pharaoh when he dies. It appears that you will have all of eternity to make up for your mistakes. Indeed I would. But unfortunately, you know, this is going to have to come to an end. So let's go ahead and take a look at the credits for this as well. While we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and bring this all back to where it belongs. Okay, uh, flip horizontal. There we go. Now that you can see me. Alrighty. Let's take a look at the credits here. What a number of people definitely did this game all right. 
But in the meantime, the Cliff Master has been playing some Age of Empires to fit a different edition and got at least halfway through the tutorial uh, campaign. Tune in next week where we'll try to complete the campaign. We're so close to the end. We're just working on religion now. I've also been playing some Stream Raiders as well, so. We'll stick around long enough to finish the battle at the very least. That being said, let's switch over. So, and it looks like I am the only one here thus far. Oh dear, now I've noticed something here. There we go. All this time, there was just a crack of my uh, green screen just out of line. Which has been fixed, obviously. Got about oh, eight minutes to go here anyway, so stick it around here for the very least. Check this out here for a minute. Uh-huh. And it looks like Old Book is live right now. Fascinating. I wonder why. Uh, I guess it's, uh... I guess it'll be all worth it, though. I've been checking my Discord here, guys, so I was just... And I just saw that Old Book is doing some, uh... Stream Raiders of his own. At this wonderful hour in the morning of his, which is about three o'clock right now, his time. So uh, I'll go ahead and give him a host later. So check him out. Hmm. Yes. Switch it back over here. We only got about five and a half minutes to go. Let's check out the game folders here for a minute. Very interesting. In the meantime, let's see what's going on here with these other games. Uh. Oop! And I just exited it out of the game. Shoot. Start it back up.
Come on, start back up. Three new items in my inventory, though. Here are the... Oh, okay, Stone Age, Wraith of... All three of them, Age of Empires, of course. Start do back up. Now you guys actually get to see the re the entry the intro again, I think. Let's see. Forgotten Empires, huh? <laughs> Interesting. Here's the entrance that got me so in awe. See? What a beautiful entry that was. Let's see here. Nope. Ah, there we go. Yeah, let's see a custom game here. Um, uh, number of players, eight, of course. Gotta go with the eight. There we go. So you got the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Carthaginians, the Cholzon, Egyptian, Greek, Hittite, Macedonian, Minoan, Palmer, Palmerin, Persian, Phoenician, the Roman, the Shang, the Sumerian, the Yamato, something random, and Mir. What the heck is Mir? Game mode. Let's go with the classic mode. That'd be fun right there, but we're doing definitive edition here. So. Just mess it around with the option, uh, everything here, though, guys. So, uh, for fear. Da -da. Da -ba -da -ba. Gotta go with the high can eye candy, of course. heck is this oh it's trying to sign me in I see well unfortunately this is the end of the road tonight so we're gonna go ahead and switch over to stream Raiders and get ready to battle in seven six five four three two one the battle has begun. Here we go, folks. And looks like I'm the only one around. Fighting nothing but dinosaurs. This pally sucks. <laughs> eh. 
And I'm dead. Right, right, right. Well, unfortunately, this is all we can do right now. And this is the end of the stream, folks. So, keep playing. But I'm definitely going to take these scrolls. Keep playing. Or at least keep playing the map so I can at least upgrade. Boom. Oh, and the Templar can unlock now. Good, I got another legendary. And what's this Templar's info here? A legendary support unit that boosts all nearby allied damage and deals two times damage to the end. Ah, oh, perfect. But unfortunately, this is the end of the line for us all here, folks. So, back to this. So, this has been the Great Cliff Master playing some uh, Age of Empires and Stream Raiders. So, in the meantime... Tune in tomorrow and we'll be playing some Subnautica! We're going to continue our exploring uh, Planet 4546B to see uh, how far we can go into the depths. And the Sunbeam is about to uh, try to come and rescue us. Let's see how that goes. So in the meantime, tune in tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then I'll see you then. Meantime, Cliff Master is signing out. Good journey. I shall see you in the next episode. Good night!